Well, would you look who it is? Shino Mia, you old so-and-so. Look who's talking. Been ages, hasn't it? It certainly has. You doing okay for yourself, old man? Can't complain. You know this guy? Yeah. He helped me out here and there back in the day. Make sure to drop by every now and again. Be nice to see your ugly mug from time to time. Time to time, huh? Oh, hey, Asahi, I've got a few things I need to pick up. Come with me, will you? What kinds of things? I've been thinking of putting together a new computer. Good chance, now that I'm back in Akihabara and all. Yeah, I suppose it is. Great, so lead the way. What, me? Yeah. I don't know the town that well anymore, but you must be familiar with some good spots, right? Well, okay, I guess you got me there. Mangoku Electronics, maybe? There's one of them on the side streets. So, what do you think? They've got a pretty wide selection here, don't they? This old place is still around? Man. What, you know it? Oh yeah, it's been here forever. It was popular even back in my day. Back in your day, huh? What was Akiba like way back then? About the same as it is now. Not as many karaoke joints around, maybe. Go even further back, though, and just finding a place to eat was a pain in the ass. How far back are we talking? When I was a kid. You've been coming to Akiba since you were a kid? Yeah, from time to time. Raging? Quite the haul, huh? You get everything you needed? Still a few parts short. A couple of things they didn't have that I'm still gonna need. Where else you got it? Well, I guess we could take a peek in the old Sukumo building. You wanna check it out? This store, huh? Oh, so you know this place too, huh? You don't really even need me, do you? No, no, I do. Most of the stores around here have changed so much, I barely recognize the place anymore. Which stores? Well, all the convenience stores for one. It's sure a lot easier to find an ATM than it used to be. The restaurants are pretty different too. It's like a bunch of little bistros now. Doesn't suit the town at all. Akiba's a pretty convenient place, no matter what you're looking for. I get that, but it just doesn't fit the town's image. Either way, we should get going before the place closes. Come on. That should just about do it. So you're ready to build yourself a PC now, huh? Not that big a deal. Or shouldn't be. Though, I guess nobody builds their own damn PCs anymore these days. It does cost a lot of money. Yeah, but it's satisfying building something with your own two hands. Knowing how each and every piece fits together. Which reminds me... There's one more thing I almost forgot I need. Let's head back to where we started. How about we upgrade our PCs? You need... Oh, good, a safe spot. I could use a breather. Hey, Ashinamiya, what you getting up to with all them bags there? I was thinking I could build a new PC, actually. Been some time since my last upgrade. Ah, uh, gotcha. And naturally, you're going DIY with it. Never were a pre-made kind of guy. I know it's not the most convenient method of upgrading, but it gets the job done right. Anyway, got a question for you. Oh, and what might that be? Has she been coming by? She? Oh, you mean little Miss Tojo. She shows her face here and there, always looking for some part or another. She's looking for parts? Yeah, old stuff mostly. All flustered over something she couldn't get to work the way the original designer wanted. Is that right? Well, if you ever have any trouble with that new PC, give me a holler. I'm always happy to lend a hand where I can. <laughs> if you think you're up to it, thanks. Wonder what kind of part she's after. 
What's this now? Just something from my past. Your past isn't exactly a narrow range. How long ago are we talking? Oh yeah, I guess that's true. But for me, one year, five years, ten years, it's all the same. <sighs> Fine, forget I asked. Building your own computers, though. That's something you've been doing since you were a kid? More or less. I'm actually really into it. I can't even imagine that. You, of all people, getting hyped about something. Almost scary to think about. Everybody gets hyped. It's in our nature. So is there still something you're super into now? Maybe not in two so much as inside. Ragey? Now, who have we here? This couldn't be old Ragey, could it? Hey, been a while. You know her, Ragey? Yeah, she's... Where have you been, Ragey Poo? I've been so very, very lonely. And it's not like you to be showing up in the middle of the day like this. Not like him how? Why, the two of us would usually meet in the wee hours of the night, relying on that dim, dusky light to get us by. But now we've reunited at long last, and it feels so good. Whoa, Ragey, were you and this lady? No, you idiot, she's a friend of mine. She tends bar at a place I used to frequent, and has a rotten sense of humor. <laughs> nice to meet you. Well, likewise, I'm sure. By the way, Ragey Poo, do you remember our little promise? Promise? No! Don't tell me you've forgotten our little promise just between the two of us. The one we made on that steamy night. So you two actually were... Just shut up, kid. Now, what's all this about a promise? I knew it! You did forget! You think you could just use me as you please like so much old friend tissue? Jeez, cool your jets, lady. Could be from a day that got away. Certainly got plenty of those on record. Oh, so you're going to blame it on the drink like that? You can't! Oh, Ragey, this is too good. <sighs> you can believe what you want, but you... What was my promise exactly? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Quit making such a big production and spit it out already. Oh, I could just tell you, but where's the fun in that? I know, I've got this patron who simply won't pay up. So... If you go and collect his tab for me, I'll divulge everything. Why the hell should I do your job for you? Lady, you've got yourself a deal. Asahi? Hey, I'm invested in this now. <sighs> you little... Truly? You'll do it? That's wonderful! Yay! <sighs> okay, you win. But you're gonna tell me every last detail about that promise when I'm done. Oh, of course! It'll be just like old times, when I'd do anything you made me do. <sighs> Whatever you say. Anyway, where's this tight purse patron we're shaking down? He's a man who loves his booze, so I guess he's not far from some place he can score a drink or ten. Sounds like as good a place to start as any. We'll go check a few likely spots. Here. I mean, this place does serve alcohol, right? <laughs> Welcome. Hey, Akemi, you got any problem customers who are always skipping out on their tabs? Tabs are forbidden at my establishment, so I'm afraid the answer is no. Cross one off the list. Huh, I had no idea. But I wonder if the person you're looking for isn't Lucky Dan, perchance. Ah, uh, Lucky Dan, of course. What, you know him? Lucky Dan is a pretty gifted programmer. Can't seem to debug his drinking problem, though. We used to tie a few on together and he'd be toasted in minutes. Then, I'd always end up paying his bill. I suspect you'll find him down at Outska, on the side streets. Got it. Let's go take a look. 
Hey, Akemi? Yes? Reiji used to go drinking and stuff a lot, right? With other people? Long, long ago. In the before time. Hey, gonna move on, Asai. Coming, sorry. Some sweet nectar. Kyushu boys can't live without getting themselves a hit of that shit. Lucky Dan. Hey. Oh, is that a little Reiji Shinomiya? That's right. Been some time, hasn't it? Why, it most certainly has. How about it then? A drink to celebrate our long delayed re. re. meeting. I sure wouldn't mind a drink, but I'm babysitting this kid right now. Hey! Not why I'm here, though. Been racking up quite a tab, haven't you, Danny boy? Yeah. Yeah. Now you mention it, I guess I have. Can't remember where or however the hell much, though. <laughs> I was called in to collect. You got enough on you to pay up, you think? Ugh, pain in the ass. Gotta be that one bar. <clears throat> This should be enough. Here. Looks like a reasonable sum to me. Thanks. So, what the hell have you been up to all this time, Zena Mia? Eh, this and that. You know how it goes. Still working that job of yours? You know, you and that uh, other one, the, the girl. No, I've been out of that game a long time now. No kidding. Well, whatever. You ever have any problems, you come and talk to me, okay? <laughs> I'll fix you right up. Sounds to me like you and I have something in common, Reiji. What the hell are you blabbering about? You're technically a neat. I mean, think about it. Quitting your job and just doing this and that since then? <sighs> Believe what you want. Let's just hurry and hand over this money before I end up spending it. Collected. Blimey! You actually did it! Sure did. So, what was my promise? The one I totally spaced on. You really do want to know, don't you? How cute. <sighs> Hurry up and spill it. <laughs> Not the best choice of words, Ragey Poo. Oh man, this is gonna be juicy. More like Beechwood aged. Uh, what? Booze. It's the one I promised you. A true rarity. <laughs> yeah, I remember now. Not such a bad reward for an honest day's work, really. Don't be a stranger now, okay? Cheers, love. That's not what I was hoping for. What were you hoping for? A promise of love and romance. Of a long-burning passion between adults. Oh, you're such a kid, kid. Well, if you're such an old man, shouldn't you have a story or two to tell of your romantic conquests? Adults don't believe in things like love and romance. They're fairy tales. You'll learn that when you're older. Hey! Hey, wait up! Man, talk about your cheap DVDs. Hmm? Something catch your eye? I was just reminded that I got some work I need to take care of. Work? What? What's so shocking about that? You told Lucky Dan you quit your job. You implied you were a neat like me. I did quit my job. My old job. So you're saying you aren't a neat? Hey, don't go down that road. That's not how the world works. So what kind of work do you do now? And down that road lay none of your business. Come on, can't you at least tell me what you do? It's not an unreasonable question. If you really want to know, come shopping with me. A 
need some supplies anyway. All right, you've got yourself a deal. So what are you looking for? First things first, a movie. Come on now, try to keep up. A movie? From here? No, it can't be. So, uh, what'd you buy? What do you mean, what did I buy? A DVD. What else would I buy in a DVD shop? Is it a naughty DVD? Don't know. Could be. Whoa! Seriously? Come on. Our next stop awaits. Hey! Where are we going now? Etri. The bookshop by the station. this place up too. Yeah, they made it look pretty classy for sure. I come here a lot myself. So, what book did you end up getting? This one. Take a look. Whoa, isn't this? Oh, you know it, do you? Yeah, it's a photo book featuring popular swimsuit models, right? How is this relevant to your work? <laughs> How indeed. Jeez, come on, man. Just tell me. What do you do? Like I said, it doesn't concern you. We've got another stop to make anyway. Main Street. Destination's Foss Map. A pervy DVD, a racy photo book, and now we're going to Foss Map? You've got to be kidding me here. Uh, Reiji? Reiji? So, here? Yeah, here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's about to start! I'm gonna take so many pics! Yeah, bro! Like seeing this many beautiful butts all up close like on the first map stand. It's gonna be rad! That's what I thought. They're always doing events with swimsuit models here. Reggie, don't tell me. Your job is... What are you getting yourself all worked up for, kid? Why wouldn't I be worked up? Come on, spill it! You're a grab-your-idol photographer, aren't you? Or maybe you're a producer. Wait, no! You're the head of the office or something, am I right? I'm right, aren't I? You serious? You bought a DVD, you bought a photo book, and now we're at a Foss Map event. You've given me no reason to doubt your involvement here. You really are an idiot. If I did that kind of work, why would I spend my own money buying all of this? Oh, uh... Yeah, I guess that's a good point. So why are we here? There are some CDs I want, and they didn't have them at the last place. CDs? Yep. So, I'm off to take a look. Be right back. So, what did you get? A couple of really gorgeous first edition discs. Perfect for my needs. Your... needs? Yeah, I'm not interested in the music. I just want to see the different kinds of CD jackets. So your job has something to do with CD package design, then? It's something like that. I just wanted to see these for myself. Hold them in my hands and get a good feel for them. Oh, which would make you... Yeah, I'm a graphic designer. Freelance only from home, but still. I get it now. So the DVD and the photo book were... Uh... DVD's got a bunch of poses I can reference, and the layout of the photo book is just really nice. Hmm. I can see it, actually. You look a little let down. You expected me to be something a little more... spicy, were you? No, believe it or not, I was legitimately interested. I figured whatever job you had must have been nice and proper. <laughs> so, I'm off the hook for being a neat like you now, huh? Let me treat you to some coffee or something, as thanks for joining me. We'll head over to Maxell's here, in the plaza. Shall we enter? 
and here's yours. Thanks. Feel kind of good. Got some decent field work in today. So what exactly does a graphic designer do? Lots of stuff. I make flyers, design websites, whip up a little concept art here and there, that sort of thing. Sounds like a real fashion statement of a job, if you ask me. Maybe you're just a peon. What got you started in this line of work, anyway? Mainly that I can do it from home and don't have to deal with too many people. Plus, design something I can see and understand with my own two eyes. It's easy to grasp. With your own two eyes, huh? Anyway, I'm gonna head home and get some proper designing. Isn't that sort of pointless, considering that it's all going to go poof at midnight? It's a question of mood. I can only really relax after I finish the day's work, so it's not really for my clients. It's for me. Hmm. Sort of like how a person might finish their work early so they can better enjoy their summer break, right? Uh, something along those lines, I guess. Still, I gotta say I'm a little surprised. About what? That you're really not a neat after all. Hey now, look at that. The Tokyo Manga Center? What about it? Figure as long as I'm in Akihabara, I should swing by and check the place out. What? Really? You? You're into manga and stuff? Not personally, but I got a birthday gift to pick out. Whose? Is that any of your business? Come on, you know this stuff. Show me the ropes. Yo, Tachibana. You have any idea what this is all about? Don't ask me, man. I have no clue. So, how come you didn't buy anything? Couldn't find the right thing. Well, you want to go look somewhere else? I'm sure Yamato wouldn't mind. <laughs> whatever. How about Animart? If anybody would have something good and geeky, they would. Here we are. What is it specifically that you're looking for? I don't know. Huh? Can't quite remember what it was he said he liked. You're gonna come out of here empty-handed again, aren't you? I don't know. I'm sure if I buy him something from a popular series, he'll like it well enough. You might want to put a little more effort into it than that. What kind of person is it that you're buying for? That might actually be enough to go on. Well, let's see. He's pretty much the same age as this one. Maybe even a little younger. This one? As in... What? Me? So you're secretly buying a gift for Yamato, then? <laughs> I don't need any presents. No, not you, you numbskull. My brother, he's around your age. What? Your brother? You've got a brother? Yeah, I do. Preachy. First you buy nothing, then you buy everything. Make up your damn mind. Figure there's gotta be at least one thing he'll like in all this stuff. Anyway, while we're out, we should hit up another spot. Feels like we're on a roll. Okay, how about Radio Lakaikon? It's by the station's electric town exit. Trading cards can make you stronger, so let's stock up. shouldn't have any trouble finding anything here. Doesn't matter. It's not like I'm looking for anything specific anyway. I think this should be enough. Enough? You cleaned them out! Figures, manga, models... I think you might have a problem. <laughs> gonna be a pain in the ass to carry all this. It's fine. I'm shipping it. Wait, you're not gonna give your brother his birthday present in person? Nope. I haven't seen him in a long time. So you guys aren't from Tokyo then, huh? Wait a sec. Go even further back though, and just finding a place to eat was a pain in the ass. 
how far back are we talking? When I was a kid. So you've been coming to Akiba since you were a kid? Yeah, from time to time. Didn't you say you've been coming to Akiba since you were a kid? Yeah, what of it? Um, well... Come on, it's time to get moving. Take me somewhere I can go to have these things shipped. All right, let's go to the post office at UBX. The shop seems to sell all kinds of odds and ends. Shall we take a look? It's a save point. Perhaps we should make use of it. Okay, let's get all this stuff in the mail so I don't have to think about it anymore. Is there any point in mailing it now? Like with the time loop and all. As long as it also arrives today, it'll be fine. Where are you sending it to? Someplace close. Close enough that you could get there on a motorbike if you had to. Why ship it then? I don't understand. Figures. Postal system is shot to hell these days. How could they no longer be offering same-day delivery? Guess I'll just take it all home for now. After going to all the trouble of packing it up, too. Give me a hand, you guys. What, are you kidding me? Here. Ugh, holy crap, this is heavy. Young guy like you'll manage. Yeah, Yamato. It's good exercise. Come on, that's not... Hey, what's this? What's what? You're sending this to your brother, right? I think you might have mislabeled it. No, it's correct. But it says it's going to Reita Hashiguchi. Hashiguchi? Not Shinomiya? Why would your brother have a different last name? My parents were divorced. Simple as that. Oh. Uh, sorry. I don't think it's all that uncommon a story these days. Is that why you don't really see your brother? Yeah. Since my folks split up, I haven't seen him even once. Can't even remember how many years it's been. But don't you want to see him? You two are brothers, after all. Part of being an adult is knowing when to push the envelope and when to sit tight. I could visit him if I wanted, but we keep in touch through text messages and emails, so we're fine. So you're at least on good terms with him, then? Mm, yeah, I guess so. It seems like he's finally hit that rebellious phase of his life, though. <laughs> Turning into a snot. Ah, and that's why you compared him to Yamato. Makes sense. Hey! Yeah, kid can't seem to let go of his manga, anime, and games, no matter what. Very Yamato-esque. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Maybe the two of them are estranged brothers or something, and Yamato is actually related to you. No way. Any brother of mine would be way more of a looker. Care to share a cuppa with a maid or seven? Come on down and be a maid man. Here's a flyer with more information. Man, it's gotta be a pain handing those out every single day. Comes with the territory. Every job's got its pain in the ass duties. You wanna work, you gotta deal with them. Yeah, yeah, I know. Do you just not want a job or what? And that's enough of this conversation. You gotta face reality sooner or later. How old did you say you were again? 19. Around the same age I was when I started thinking about work. Not too late to get something good if you start now. Never took you for a planner. I always figured you were just winging it 24-7. Everybody's got to walk that road sometime. I'll take the shortcut, thanks. You think this is some kind of joke, kid? All right, here's one for you. We're going to find you a job right now. A uh, what? A job, an occupation, a career, whatever you want to call it. I believe there's been a breakdown in communication here. Yeah, because I'm not getting through to you. I'll make it clearer. Get. A. Job. I'm not cut out for the workforce. Maybe not, but you gotta join it sooner or later anyway. You plan to just keep living like you are now? Well, no, but... Take it from someone with more life experience. 
Just looking for work can be a lot of fun if you let it. It lets you really consider your future. And I ain't asking you to accept a job on the spot or anything. Just a look. Man, you're really serious. Damn straight. Now, let's go see what's available. You're the perfect age for a little job hunting. It'll be a blast. Some brand spanking new Road to Dragoons merch in stock. Be sure to check it out. It's limited run, so supplies are uh, <clears throat> limited. <laughs> so get it while the getting's gettable. Think you could work a shop like this? I mean, yeah, it's definitely in line with my interests, but I don't know. What don't you know? Well, they say you shouldn't make your hobby your work, right? Yeah, that's a fair point. It is? Doing something you enjoy for work can kind of rob you of your enjoyment if you're not careful. You do know I wasn't being serious, right? I gather as much, but that doesn't mean you aren't right. Anyway, let's go check out some other job opportunities. working in a bustling place like this. It does seem like it'd be fun, but remembering what's what and where seems like an impossible task for this brain. Pretty sure it happened naturally while you work, and probably a lot quicker than you think. Yeah, you might be right. I feel, though, like being a customer is the real draw of a place like this. It would lose its allure if I worked here. You're right. That sort of thing definitely does happen. Ragey? All just excuses, though, to get bucked down and try it. Otherwise, you'll never know if the job is bliss or hell. Did you enjoy your time working for the DAB? Now that's a question. I guess I did in my own unique way. Every day I was able to learn more and more about the world around me. It made it all seem so much bigger. And it was fun. But along with all of that, I learned a good deal I'd rather not have known. And that's why you've put it all behind you now, I guess. If I'd been having fun till the end, I'd still be there, wouldn't I? Anyway, we should head to our last stop, UBX. Come on. It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. So what's here? What does it look like? An office building. Whoa, now, I was willing to humor you on this little excursion, but there's no way you're getting me in there. I didn't bring you here for what's inside. Then why did you? I want you to look closely at all the people coming and going. How do they look to you? Hmm, they all look tired. Anything else? Not really, they just look tired. <sighs> Guess the life of a breadwinner is a pretty grueling one. I don't want to be hearing that kind of crap from the likes of you. I'm 19, what do you expect? I told you, I'd already begun thinking about my future by the time I was your age. <sighs> Doesn't matter though, you don't care about any of this anyway. That's exactly right, I don't. We shouldn't be trying to change who we are. <laughs> I guess in my old age, I just can't help but meddle in the affairs of kids like you. Fragey? Besides, if you do get a job doing something you like, and then you lose it, it leaves you kinda hollow inside. Are you saying you're hollow inside now from losing your job at the DAB? Don't know. Haven't really thought about it. At any rate, that's about it for the job tour. Ain't gonna get through that thick skull of yours anyway. Hey, rude. You wanna keep going then? I'll pass, thanks. Ah, right. Guess that cafe closed down, huh? Something about this area strike your fancy? A couple years back, my usual cafe was around here. Used to come by now and then with Mari. Ooh, on dates? 
Been a while since I last had coffee in a place like that. Sure wish I could experience that again. You can get coffee anywhere, though. I'm not just looking for any old cup. I've got a very specific craving right now. No problem. I know a few good spots. I'll show you around a little. All right, if you think you can. Where to? Mediators is a good start. It's over along the side streets. Here we are. You can't be serious. This is a maid cafe. Moe, care to give him the talk? Understood. Our coffee, the pride of our cafe, is a fresh roast imported direct from Guatemala. It's sourced from group cooperatives and farmed locally to ensure a consistent level of high quality. Furthermore, the hard beans ground to create every cup are grown at an elevation of more than 1,350 meters. With just the right amount of sweetness and smooth drinkability, its flavor is exceedingly marvelous. Now is that a pitch, or is that a pitch? I'm sure it's very good, but I don't think you're quite understanding what I'm looking for, aside. I'm not? An instant coffee simply cannot compare. With its rich aroma and full-bodied flavor, this is a coffee you can savor. Look, I'm not knocking the coffee. It sounds great, really. Then how about trying a cup while you're here? I appreciate the offer, Miss. I'm sure it's the best damn coffee in the world, but it's just not what I'm looking for. I'm sorry to hear it. Should you change your mind, though, you'll always be welcome in our caffeinated Nirvana. Man, I thought this was the perfect chance to drop in for a visit, too. But, but Reiji, what kind of coffee are you looking for, then? Like I said, I've got a very distinct craving. I want the coffee I used to drink way back when. Aha! I've got it! You do? There's only one possible destination for lovers of classic coffee flavors. To the Station Plaza, stat! A delusion scape! We gonna go in? Headed into the delusion scape? Sahi, what the hell is this? Doesn't it just scream back in those days to you? It's the Motionable Suit Dundam Cafe. I figured coffee at the old Dundam Cafe would totally take you back to your rock and robot filled youth. Even I don't think this is really what he meant. Not even close. It's not? But this place is super fun. They show a slideshow of classic images inside and it's super comfy and the coffee is delicious too. Comfort is hardly a priority for me right now. Huh? What do you mean? Use your brain, kid. It's the coffee I'm nostalgic for, not some anime. Um... No, no, Asahi. You tried. Uh, no, I got this. I'm going to find Reiji his wistful flavor if it's the last thing I do. Uh, you are? Of course. No matter what, we're going to find the coffee shop of his dreams. I guess that means I gotta go with you again, huh? There. You satisfied now? Damn. Not even here, huh? Well, where should we go next? Nowhere. We've been to literally every place I know. In the end, we couldn't help slake Reiji's thirst for coffee. We couldn't do anything. We were powerless. I've got no strength left. No strength at all. No matter what I do, it all just rolls back to zero. Um, Asahi? I told you, I'm looking for the same experience I had way back when. How far back are you talking? You're not that old. Oh, um, Reiji, do you mean back when you were with the DAB? Yeah, you getting at something? I see. It's just as I thought then. What's on your mind, Mippity? I figured out what Reiji is looking for. You have? It's not about the coffee, but the person he used to drink the coffee with. Right? Good thing at least one of you is reasonably perceptive. Oh ho, so it's not coffee you're after, but hot coffee. Not even gonna dignify that with a response. What I want is something I can never have again. Some one-on-one -on -one coffee time. The experience, not the drink. That same feeling of comfort and contentedness. 
which is now just a distant memory. You okay, Reiji? Reiji, may I ask you a question? What is it? What kind of dates did you and Mari go on? Pretty ordinary ones. We went to the movies, went out to eat, toured aquariums, that sort of thing. Wow, those sound like surprisingly normal dates. Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I was just curious what kind of dates an adult woman like Mari might go on. Ah, studying up for our future, are we? <laughs> movies, aquariums, that's child's play. There's nothing adult about dates like that. Uh, Yamato? Now listen here, Pipsqueak. The stuff that's fun when you're a kid won't suddenly become less fun when you grow up. Child's play and kid stuff are just terms invented by lame-ass kids who think they're too cool for school. What? What did you just say? Yamato, what are you even doing here? Now, if it isn't Ray Ray, what a perfect time for you to come. It is. Mari dropped by a little while ago. She was looking for you. For me? That's right. It seemed like she had something rather important to speak with you about. Something important, huh? We should track her down right away so you can find out what it was. Nah, I'm good. My story with her is long over. Is that truly how you feel, Ray Ray? I wouldn't have said it if it weren't. Asahi, will you take him around for me? No problem. Does my vote count for nothing? Come on, man. Even you've got to be curious what this is all about, right? Can't hurt to hear her out. <sighs> Speaking of which, have you got her contact info? Email, phone, anything? I very deliberately got rid of it all. Of course you did. Is there anywhere she might be then? Some place with some memories attached for you two, maybe? An Excelsior Cafe in a station plaza. To meet up there a lot. It works for me. Come on, let's go check and see if she's there. Is this the place? Yeah, we used to grab breakfast here a lot. Though it was usually kind of like a second dinner, since we'd stay up all night and eat again come morning. Man, the DAB sounds like it was pretty grueling work. Well, I was young back then. Young and reckless. And this is where we'd discuss it. The device for visualizing delusions. It was a brand new venture at the time, and I was pretty damned excited for it. The visualization device wasn't meant to allow the average person to see delusions, though. I built it for myself so I could discern what was and wasn't delusion with my own two eyes. Makes sense. But in the end... Yeah, wasn't able to finish it. Do you still want to? I guess not. It doesn't really need to be finished anymore. Hmm. Anyway, doesn't seem like she's here. We should move along to another spot. Where else do you think she might be? Maruba Curry on junk. May as well give it a look. luck here either. Yeah, makes sense she wouldn't come here by herself. But you guys came here together a lot? She'd always join me here, even though she chided me for my bad eating habits. You need more vegetables, you need more nutrition, that's too much sauce. <laughs> that sort of thing. Too much sauce? Hey, give me a break. I couldn't tell the difference between reality and delusion. I needed strong flavors to guide me. Welcome! If the seats exist, they exist for you. Please, sit upon them. Oh, Reiji, is that you? Yeah, it's me. How's tricks? It's been some time. And space as well. You just missed Mari, you know. You know where she went? I can invent scenarios, but I know not the truth. Tell me, do you seek her? I guess you could say that. 
She saw to you as well. Or so it seemed. Solid. Thanks. Guess she's doing the same thing we are and checking all your old haunts. So what's the next place we should try? Under Habara in UBX. We used to go there for drinks. Come on. place all right now our spots on the second floor well i gotta say i've never been here before I'm not surprised it's got more of an adult vibe than most of the rest of the town food and drink are tops though whenever we got fed up with work we'd grab a bite and down some drinks and we'd be feeling real good real quick fed up with work on the visualization device yeah development was a rocky road even right from the first experiments you fellas got some business here we're still setting up for the day, I'm afraid. Oh, bummer. Had to shoo away another customer a little earlier, too. Whew, real pretty one. Felt bad for chasing her out. Anyway, sorry, but business is business. And I've still got a mountain of things to do before I can open this place up. A pretty customer chased out just a little before us, huh? Could have been Mari, yeah. At this rate, we're sure to run into her as long as we keep looking. So come on, let's keep at it. Man, she is just nowhere to be found. I can already tell that if we keep looking for her, it's going to turn into one hell of a production before we're through. Mari? Mari! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Even if we did find each other, I don't see what good it'd do. Nothing's changed between us since our falling out. If you two butted heads so much, why did you start going out in the first place? It just kinda happened. Seemed like the thing to do, I guess. It just happened? So you never told her you liked her or anything? When you start getting up there in age, you kind of slap a C and D on those big overblown declarations of love. Huh. Do you now? I mean, sure, we had our differences of opinion, but things were going well overall. Until I ran away, of course. Ragey. So did your parents get along? Mine? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Well enough, anyway. We have a dog at home, and they like taking it out for walks together. I guess... Your parents are... Divorced, yeah. They split up when I was in middle school. I went with Dad, and my brother went with Mom. But all I could think about at the time was, this is it, man. This is your first real taste. First taste of what it's like to be a grown man, learning that nothing lasts forever. The bond between husband and wife is as nebulous as they come, about as thick and sturdy as a single sheet of paper. So I wound up studying psychology. I wanted to know what drives people to seek out other people. People seeking other people. And while I was studying all that at college, I got a call from the DAB. Before I knew it, I was working for them myself. And Mari joined up a little while after. Ironic, isn't it? I didn't even believe in the bond between men and women, but now I had a girlfriend. Did you like her? Like her? What does that even mean? Love is even one level higher on the fickle scale than marriage. It's not a zero, and not a one, but somewhere in between. I hate that crap. It confuses the hell out of me. I see. I think that's enough nostalgia for one day. Thanks for coming along on this wild goose chase. You're not gonna look anymore? Nah. If she really wants to find me, she will. Whose phone is that? It's mine. You? Kind of a rarity for you to get a message, isn't it? <laughs> Who is this? I don't address. Spam mail, huh? No, I don't think so. Even though it's from an address you don't know? It says, I'd like to meet and talk. It's gotta be from her. Ooh. What are you getting all worked up for? Huh? Another one? And this one says, haven't changed your mail address, huh? Why would I have? You really think it's her? Yeah, gotta be Mari. Guess she held on to my address all this time. What are you gonna do? Huh. 
Might as well go meet with her. But where? In times like these, she never ever says where she is. Let's try heading to the DAB itself. With things the way they are right now, I'm guessing the boss ain't in. Over there, it's her. Figured you'd be here. And I knew you'd come. Funny that, since you're the one who's been looking for me everywhere. And here you are. So, what did you want to talk about? I finished it. The prototype. The prototype? Oh, no way. That's no small task. Guess you inherited my work once I took off, huh? It was your dream, so it was my dream too. And you're my dream. Yes. It does seem that way, doesn't it? You guys lost me. She finished the prototype of the visualization device. That's all we're talking about here. And I wanted you to have it. Not necessary. Not necessary? Well, wasn't this your dream project? The device is finished. So the dream is dead now. I don't need it anymore. But why not? Tell me, Mari. How was it when you finally switched it on? Pretty great? Oh, of course. Immediately after finishing it, I was the absolute first test subject. And? How'd you look? I couldn't say, because no one showed up in the mirror. Huh? That's how I knew it was finally done. Huh. Guess I was right all along. Of all the things to be right about... It's an answer. This is what I've been dying to know for so long now. Which means you were dying to know too, Mari. I was. And yet, when I switched it on and saw no image reflected in the mirror, I thought to myself, isn't it ironic? It's called a visualization device, but it can only visualize things that exist in reality. So yes, it's true. My existence is a delusion. And that's all I ever wanted to know. Which is why I don't need the device anymore. <sighs> so, what was it you wanted to say to me? You didn't just want to let me know the device was finished, I assume. You assume correctly, of course. Naturally. Mari, are you... Reiji, you've been suffering for so long. Doomed to exist in the space between reality and delusion. That's why I summoned you here. I wanted to give you peace, Reiji. I want you to nullify me. <laughs> so that's it, is it? Once you do, when this never-ending Sunday comes to a close, you'll finally be free of your burden. <sighs> it's not like you to look so... bewildered. And I'm not. Then what's that expression on your face? I was thinking about something. About why I brought you into existence. Reiji? See, I don't believe in love and romance. But for some reason, it was love I sought more than anything. Doesn't make a lick of sense, does it? It's so funny, I forgot to laugh. The answer I'd been seeking for so long was right in front of me. But I was afraid of it. Now that... That's not like me. Oh no. I rather think that's exactly like you, Reiji. You do? After all, you're the one who ran away from me, aren't you? Huh. <laughs> Got me there. You haven't changed a bit. You've always been inadequate. You're certainly not the debonair man you think you are. Just had to get in a pot shot at me, didn't you? The thing is, I love you just the way you are. Love? Not loved? Of course. After all, I'm your forever girl. <laughs> Guess a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do then. Gotta make myself seem worthy of a nice gal like you. Hey, Asahi. Give me a hand, will ya? Let's nullify the hell out of this delusion. Let's show her what we can do. Are you sure? Can't very well run away from a fight like this when the woman I love standing right in front of me, can I? Gotcha. Just making sure. All right, then. Let's get this breakup started. Come on! Come on. 
Then that's the end of that chapter. I guess so. Well done, Reiji. You showed poise and confidence. I'm your man. I gotta look good for you. Of course. Mari? Yes? The woman, called Mari Tojo, has never existed. That's right. But the time we shared together, that's absolutely real. You know that. Thank you. And when Monday finally comes around, supposedly I'm going to forget it all. But I feel like that's not what's going to happen. I won't forget you. No, that's definitely not like you. <laughs> what, you think I'm getting soft on you now? Hey, Reiji? Yeah? It's okay. You don't need to be afraid anymore. And you don't have to lie to yourself about your feelings. So, when it's all over, I want you to love someone real, okay? Love her with all your heart. For me, that's my final request. That's a pretty tall order for a guy like me, but... I guess it can't hurt to give it my best shot. <laughs> Goodbye, Reiji.